Hello friends! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own watercolors using washable markers. I've got Crayola washable markers right here, but any type of washable marker will work just fine. You're also going to need a Ziploc bag or a plastic baggie, a paintbrush, any type of paintbrush will do just fine, a cup of water to clean your brush of course, and a sheet of paper. To get started, you're first gonna take your plastic bag and choose a color marker. I've chosen the red. I'm gonna take the cap off and I'm just gonna start coloring right onto the plastic bag. Be careful not to touch it with your fingers because it will rub off very, very easily. Remember, snap that cap. I'm going to next take another color and I'm going to just keep coloring on to my plastic bag. Um, the colors I'm using today are going to be the colors of the rainbow. And if you remember from my art class, we have a saying for the colors of the rainbow, Roy G. Biv, that reminds us of the colors in order. And in case you forgot, it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So I am just coloring away onto my plastic bag until I get all the colors that I want. As I'm finishing up coloring my bag, I do want to tell you that if you don't have a plastic bag, that is okay. Other options for this project would be aluminum foil. You would do the same thing right onto the foil or even saran wrap or a garbage bag would actually work fine. Um, I'm just about finished, so I'm going to put that to the side so that now I can focus on my paper. So here I put my paper in front of me. Sorry if you can't see all the colors of my bag, but you know they're there. So I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to wet it just a little bit, and I'm going to swirl it around in that marker that we painted or that we colored um, right onto the plastic bag. See, I'm swirling, making sure to get that brush really loaded up with color. And now I'm going to paint just as though it's paint. So we had markers and now we have paint, watercolor paints. Really, really cool guys. Um, the more water that you add to your brush, the lighter your paint will become. You can see I'm gradually getting lighter and lighter. That is called a gradient. After I've practiced making my gradient, I'm going to move on to my rainbow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my brush, I'm going to get that first color, that violet color, and I'm going to paint an arch on my paper. An arch is the same thing as a curved line. Just imagine what a rainbow looks like. It's that curved arch line. And every time I switch colors, I'm going back to my water cup, I'm swirling my brush around, and then I'm swiping that extra water off on the edge of the cup. You don't want your paintbrush to be too, too wet because that will make your colors really watery. If you want your colors to be darker, all you have to do is dry your brush a little bit. You don't want it completely dry. You want a little bit of water on there, but then add more of the watercolor to your brush. So... It'll be less water, more color. I'm just gonna finish up making my rainbow. I've got my orange and then my last one, the red line, it's a little hard to see, but there it is. So we are done with our rainbow. Over on this side of my Ziploc bag, it's a little bit hard to see because it's cut out of the screen, but what I'm doing is I'm showing you that you can mix the colors together. So the first color I made was kind of a blue-green color, and then I mixed the blue with the purple, and the last one was mixing orange with yellow. So you'll just get different variations of the colors of the markers, which is really cool. I also made a brown, and then I wrote you guys a little note. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.